Hello and welcome to Stardew Valley, where tomorrow's weather will be sunny. We haven't had a stormy day in a while, and today's luck is very bad again. It is Victor's birthday today. Alright, we'll go give him a battery pack. Oh, thank you for the jelly snowdrop. Uh, there we go. Try to remember to put the uh, boosts on. And now we harvest. Just to get the best chance possible for the best quality ah, crops. Didn't mean to do that. Um... sunflower there is going to be ready to harvest soon and then we'll be able to complete Trini's sunflower princess quest that'll be lovely also we've got tomato juice so um, we'll be able to complete the beverages bundle I did not expect to have another very bad luck day in a row I wonder if it is still worth it to go into the secret well not the secret forest, but you know, into the deep woods. Because, um, well, it is a bad luck day. So the chances of uh, anything great spawning there are drastically reduced. Hmm. Well, at least we'll uh, check for honey and uh, we'll give Victor his birthday present and also uh, take the juice into the bundle and we'll get that completed. So we are getting stuff done in spite of it being a very bad luck day. Victor is at home. Well, it is super early in the morning. So let's go take the juice into the community center first. And then we'll go see Victor. We'll put it into here. And there's another bundle complete. Another keg. Lovely. Oh, um. A bit of a traffic jam. There we go. Victor. Oh, hello, Maru. Sebastian hardly ever talks to you. You'd like to have a brother, but he doesn't really act like one. That is sad. Hello, Shane. Every time you try something new, it goes horribly wrong. Well, people are just full of gloom and doom today. 
I guess it kind of stands to reason, it being a very bad luck day, that um, nobody's very uh, cheerful. Oh, hello. What are you reading? An adventurous book about the Fern Islands archipelago. There are loads of caverns under the sea and they're full of monsters. Huge tentacle monsters and venomous floating jellyfish. Yeah, I do believe that. Uh, that's in the book, right? Not in reality. Um, why don't you join the Adventurers Guild? Experience something for yourself. Oh, <laughs> you, um, you'd rather read about it. In real life, I am the same, absolutely. I would love to just read books all day. It would be nice to have a library that big. That's very nice of you, Victor. Thank you. I'll leave you to it. Oh. Olivia's having a discussion with her son. Oh, he's looking for a job. I bet he'd rather stay at home and read books. Don't want to move back to the city? I can understand that. Yeah. It's good to take a break when the conversation gets too heated, or rather before the conversation gets too heated. Well, I mean, uh, sometimes... Hmm. Well, finding a job in the right place at the right time can be hard. Have faith in him, okay? Thank you. Hello, Victor. Apparently those venomous jellyfish are called zinnies. Ah, oh, you're welcome, Olivia. Yeah, but, um, it's important to let him make up his own mind and choose his own path, even if it may take him some time. We'll go and uh, take the kegs, well, keg, just one, um, into the cave. Mm, need to put the berry into here. I don't know if I want to go into the deep woods today. Thanks to the 
very bad luck. But I think there is another forest area that we can explore. It is um, right down here. Just gotta make us a way through. Here it is. Um, let's just once again make our way. I guess this might be a good place to use the the um remove debris spell just have to remember to leave us enough mana to also use the haste spell I love being able to move faster Of course, coffee would make us move somewhat faster than we normally do, but this haste spell just uh, does better. Gives a bigger boost than coffee would. I guess maybe level 1 haste is the same as coffee, but our haste is level 2, so we get plus 2 speed, whereas coffee just, just gives plus 1. Do not use all the mana. I'll have to reapply the haste at some point or recast the haste at some point. This is a good enough use of time on a very bad luck day like this. Clearing this area here. Getting us some wood and stone and hardwood and forageables. And maybe we'll go into the deep woods for a little while anyway after this. Nettles? That's a plant I've never seen before in this game. Interesting. It said That, um, the spirits are doing their best to, um, to, uh, get us trouble or something, but, um, hmm, I would kind of still like to go into the deep woods just for a little bit. Maybe not worth spending the whole day in there. And that's kind of the reason why I decided to come here instead. But a little visit would be fine, I think. That's a meteorite. Um, we'll have to have a gold 
pickaxe in order to be able to um, break it. But luckily we do have the teleport spell. So it's no problem. We'll be able to loot whatever's over here, even with our steel axe and pickaxe. We'll just have to come back for the meteorite at some point once we have a gold pickaxe. That is a giant watermelon. And the thing about giant crops is that when you harvest them, you get a lot of uh, produce. Oh, I can't move over here. Well, uh, we're clearly not supposed to be over here, so let's teleport back. I just kind of wondered about that area and wanted to know whether it was traversable, but I guess not. Can't get into anywhere else from here. Nope. So, um, let's go back. That was just uh, a little area like that over there. It's already 7.30 p.m. But I think, I think I'm still going to go into the deep woods just for a little bit. Mm, we'll put the mushrooms away. And, uh, where do I put the nettles? Into here? Just... For now? Sure. And let's go. Ooh, there's gold. For a little while I was considering just staying on the bridge, fishing, but um, nah. Hello Shane. It's not that late yet. Thanks. Um, no, I haven't felt like that in a long time, actually. There was a time in my life when I did feel like that, but not for many, many years now. Well, you have a future ahead of you, too. Yeah, see ya. 
Poor Shane. I can totally commiserate. As I said, there was a time like that in my life. A couple of years, actually. But that's all I'm going to say about that. I bet we've, uh, we've all had our struggles. And uh, if we haven't yet, then um, we're going to. I, I can't believe that anybody's life is completely struggle-free. So yeah, I bet we can all empathize, em, em, empathize <laughs> with Shane there. I didn't realize that those were actual fruit in that one tree over there. I, uh, I could have grabbed them, but um, I thought they were like flowers or something. Oh well. Next time. Ooh, bat. So, I guess it's, um, random, kind of, a little bit. Um, as to what monsters appear here as well. We do need wood and hardwood. But I'm kind of super curious, so I just want to uh, look in these areas and go from one area to another. Finally got that. Um... I guess I could use my axe and pickaxe, but I kind of want to see if there's a way without doing that. Right, area 5. There's a purple mushroom. Flowers. I think we are once again going to have to um, use a farm warp totem to get out of here. <laughs> it's already almost midnight. The warp totem does take us home instantaneously though. So maybe we can keep going just a little bit longer. Hmm. There's nothing up here? No. I guess it'll be like way easier to see in daylight though and it is 1am so time to head home yeah oh we got an ancient seed from somewhere that's super cool I'll have to sow that ancient seed once we get access to a greenhouse. Not really worth sowing it before that, I don't think.
Well. A very bad luck day, but not so bad. Very nice to have found an ancient seed. We'll donate it to the museum and then, um, in exchange, we'll get... Well, you'll see. <laughs> I'm not gonna spoil it, um, just in case somebody isn't familiar with it and is watching this. Okay. Off to bed. And hopefully it isn't going to be a third very bad luck day in a row tomorrow. Nice, a level up in magic. We'll get to put one more point into haste and get it to gold star. So I will try to remember to... Oh, but it's a Wednesday. Pierce is closed. That means I won't be able to get to the altar either and I won't be able to apply that upgrade point to haste. Well, um... It'll once again be somebody's birthday, so we'll have to deliver a birthday gift. But in addition to that, we'll see what we end up getting up to. Maybe if it's not a very bad luck day again, um, we might go into deep woods again and see if we can get like further in. Maybe like to level 10 or something in there. See a bit more of it. So far we've seen the first six levels, I think. Would be nice to get to like level 10 or something. Anyway, for now, thank you so much for spending time with me here on the Mellow. It was lovely to have you. Please remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you next time.